Okay, everyone, happy Tuesday afternoon to you. I'm King Fi, meteorologist Adam Claybon. Here we are into the first full day of spring. Yesterday we started officially at 224. So uh, first day of full spring or first full day of spring. Probably going to be pretty quiet and we should see a little more sunshine here by the end of the day. Going to be a mild day too with temperatures near those seasonal averages and we do have to talk about the cool down later into the week, but we'll get into that here in just a second. First, let's talk about what's happening out there and you can see skies are fairly clear and actually uh, fairly cloudy here in Tacoma. We are noticing some clearing beginning to take place and we'll get more of that to take shape later this afternoon. Uh, same deal for us here in Seattle after dealing with maybe some clearer skies early on. We do have more of the clouds moving on through small chances of maybe some showers here today. I think a really small chance, so we're just going to go ahead and call the forecast dry. If you see anything, probably a sprinkle at best or two. And then you can see same deal happening here at our shoreline side, maybe noticing some of that clearing beginning to take shape as we look at this time lapse video, some peaks of sunshine, and we'll see more of those again to come later into the afternoon. So yes, spring season usually does bring in more of the high pollen, and we're seeing that tree pollen is really high right now. Grass and weed pollen still holding off for the time being, but if you are dealing with some of those allergies, the itchy eyes, the running noses, uh, that is why. So temperatures this morning did not dip down all that much. We only dropped into the low to mid 40s, so a relatively warm start for the day. Not, not going to warm up a whole lot yet because of some of the cloud coverage, but tomorrow's forecast is looking really nice. Satellite and radar picture really quiet up here, and as I mentioned, Looks like next couple of days are going to be fairly tranquil for us here in the Pacific Northwest, where all the action is down across California from about the Bay Area, some parts farther to the north there, and all the way down into Southern California, even to the Baja Peninsula right there, getting closer to Northern California. Uh, this way for us, so what we're going to see is areas of clouds breaking apart, clearing skies as we go into the night. That will lead to a chillier overnight and then a pretty quiet start to Wednesday. Here we are at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we're seeing a lot of sun out there. We'll go later on into the day. Slight chances of showers during the latter part of the daytime hours. Better chances coming in as we go into the nighttime hours and more so heading into Thursday as that rain becomes a lot more widespread and begins to overspread here across western Washington. Still going to keep things uh, relatively, uh, I would say, mild on into Thursday, but it's really more so Friday that we see the cool down, especially into Friday and Saturday mornings with those lows dropping well into the 30s. And we could start to notice some of that mixing taking shape as we go later on into Thursday night with that cold air really beginning to settle on in here into some parts of the lowlands. We're still talking about elevations generally above a thousand feet, seeing the better chances of maybe some of that snow beginning to pop up. But you can see that there across northern interior that that snow level does start to come down a little more as we head on into Thursday night and early into Friday morning. Uh, as far as rain amounts, that not a whole lot up until that point. Again, not going to expect things to really start to get ramping and going until we head into later Thursday morning and into Thursday afternoon. So anything that you might see late tomorrow night into the early, early hours of Thursday will be pretty minimal. Now the snow levels I did mention those start to come back down. We're down around a thousand feet for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's just that that Friday and maybe early Saturday time frame is where we have the better chances of some moisture beginning to mix in with some of that uh, cold air that's going to be in place. And that gives us the better opportunity of maybe seeing some of that mixing. Definitely a wet day for Thursday and then we'll go on into Friday and you can see some of that white beginning to close in here across some of our lowland areas before expanding back out again and staying up into the mountains where we're going to see generally more of the mountain snow for Thursday and then that will start to taper off as we go throughout Friday and then you can see going on into the rest of the weekend some clearing conditions ahead which uh, shouldn't be too bad but the overall pattern uh, yeah even as we head into early April it's going to be below average with our temperatures. We're going to keep things cooler than normal here across pretty much the entire western U.S. And the same can be said for our precipitation. Not below average, but it's going to stay active. We're going to stay above average as we head on into that same time. Today's forecast, a low to mid 50s. I even maybe seeing some upper 50s as you go farther south with more of the sunshine pocking about later on into the evening. 59 in Bellevue. Monroe hitting 59 degrees ever a little cooler there. We'll top off at about 53 and more mid to upper 50s across South Sound too, with eventually more of that sunshine coming on out. And here's your seven day forecast, even though, yeah, we are going to call for more of this uh, cooler pattern to be in place. We're going to get away from a lot more of the 60s. We're going to see 40s and 50s for highs. Uh, the good news is a lot of our systems that are going to come on through 
are going to be relatively weak ones. So we're not talking about any sort of huge downpours and thankfully we're not talking about a lot of winter weather here in the lowlands that would create a lot of uh, hassle and I'm sure a lot of uh, issues for us, especially when it comes to that morning commute. But uh, take care everyone. Make sure that you are trying to enjoy the sunshine that comes out later this evening and tomorrow. Of course, we'll have more updates for you as we get later into the week on what we're expecting for that Thursday and Friday time frame and make sure to check in with us. Take care.